And now to the other fire we told you about. One person in the hospital, their home destroyed. Started about 6.30 tonight on Ferris Creek and Fine Silver. That's where our night team's John Paul Barajas joins us live. John Paul, what's happening out there right now? Steve, Stephanie, you guys said it. This fire, the call came out at about 6.30. It's 10 o'clock at night, and there is still a large presence here. Some crews have left, but they still have fire trucks out here. And firefighters tell us they'll be out here the entire night checking on hot spots or smoldering hot spots. And now that the smoke's cleared out, it is still dark, but you can see the extent of the damages to this home. Part of it falling over onto the neighboring home there on the right-hand side. And now I want to show you video of that home actually collapsing on itself in real time. The top floor of the garage, they're falling straight down. Now, San Antonio fire officials believe the fire started because the homeowner pulled into his garage too fast and hit the water heater. We're told he only had some scratches on him. A spokesperson for the fire department says the man's neighbor ran outside and was able to pull him out of the car into safety. Unfortunately, the man's wife was inside the home at the time. The fire officials tell us she has significant burns to her face, chest, and arms. She was taken to the hospital. As for those neighbors, this was a massive and frightening scene. That we thought, thing. was there a bomb yeah. being dropped we on us? We like, didn't know. Yeah, we didn't. As he was walking out, the first explosion happened where everything shattered over here. And we, we just dug down. And then as, as I started coming up again, then there was another explosion. Now, just judging by the extent of the damages, they already determined this house is a total loss. They're still trying to figure out if they're going to demolish it completely. But you can see the city of San Antonio has already brought in some small construction equipment. Again, to see if it's going to be torn down or not is to be determined. On the northwest side, John Paul Barajas, KSA 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.